What's going on everyone? Austin John please here and today I'm going to be going over how to catch Pokemon. Yep. Yeah, and you know what? You're going to learn things. <laughs> like you always skip the tutorial in the game, but here I am literally making a dedicated video with actual good information about how to catch a Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus. <laughs> I wanted to make this video because even after playing this game an extensive amount of time, there are still things that I'm learning about the catching mechanics that I actually had to talk to other people about. Literally 60 hours into the game, learning new things. In my previous video, I went over all of the different Pokeballs that are available in the game, and it's important to know what all three of them do. And I kind of like to think of this as there's sort of a few different ways to go about interacting with the Pokemon in the environment. The first and foremost is treat it like a regular Pokemon game. You see a Pokemon, you throw out a Pokemon, now you're in a Pokemon battle. You know how to calculate your catch rate on being able to catch a Pokemon? Well, just do what needs to be done. I'm way too high of a level to catch this level five shanks. Yep. So of course you can treat it like a regular Pokemon game and for every wild Pokemon that you see, you could just throw out a Pokemon and then, you know, weaken it a little bit with this Gibble who's not gonna knock it out in one hit. I know it's weird to see a Gibble not take out a level four Shinx. And then just, you know, go in your bag, throw a Pokeball, just like you're used to. You could just treat this like a regular old Pokemon game and just play through like that, if that's what you wanna do. Or you also have the option if you wanna be a little stealthy. So if we're gonna grab an Orin Berry and we're gonna toss the Orin Berry all the way over there. So now these two boys, they're gonna see that. And while they're looking away from me and while he's eating, he's actually easier to catch. I'm actually gonna throw another one over there. And I'm gonna now take out my Pokeball. And if I highlight over, it's yellow or orangish. Oh, he's not the one eating. And see how right now it's this yellow golden icon. When he's done eating, you see how it turns a shade redder? That means that now he's a little bit harder for him to actually catch. If you plan on taking a stealthy approach, when you're sorting your items, you can choose to favorite some things. So for this, I just want to have the berries and the Pokeballs favorited. Or I could just manually move it there, but for the sake of this, I'm just gonna hit the minus button to sort everything automatically. And now when I go to my items, I'm gonna have the Pokeball and the berries. That's exactly what I want where I want them. He's sleeping, which is actually even better than if I were to feed him. See how bright green that is? That's almost like a guaranteed catch, so we're pretty safe here. Oh, another one just spawned, perfect. Now, if a Pokemon sees you and he decides to be aggressive, you can actually stop his aggression by, uh, by tossing stuff at his face. At the beginning of the game, you're gonna have balls of mud and spoiled apricorns. So, this guy, he sees me, and what? when he sees me, I'm not allowed to throw a Pokeball, but I can aim on him with this ball of mud, boop him in the face. And then if I wanted to, I could either throw a Pokeball at his front side or at his back side. And the back side, I get that back shot bonus. See how this one's already back up on me? Go, snowball to the face, and now he's stunned. So now, you see that Eevee over there? If I want to go ahead and I want to catch that Eevee, I know that its catch rate is a little bit more difficult and I'm not exactly guaranteed with a Pokeball. So I can actually go and I could pull up Eevee's Pokedex. And right here you're gonna see preferred foods include mushrooms, wheat, and beans. So if I were to throw out a regular berry, he's gonna be a little bit easier to catch. But if I throw out a, what do I have the most of? Plump beans. Let's throw out a plump bean for our, our, our little boy over here. So first I'm gonna throw out a berry just so I know my range and exactly where this Eevee is. This Bidoof is gonna get in the way and it's gonna be a pain. So I'm gonna actually do a, st a stealth spray on me. And since I don't have any cover right now, I'm also gonna drop down a smoke bomb. And anytime I'm in a smoke bomb, kneeling or standing, I'm gonna be masked, which actually is gonna make this a lot easier. So if I throw a plump bean over there, see how Eevee is fixated on it? It goes from orange to yellow. 
This is actually a slightly higher yellow. However, there is an upgraded version of basically that food, which is when you combine it with rice. It's a recipe you unlock a little bit later. I think it also might be a side quest. But using a bean cake, if I throw that over there. Evie, what's your chance of being caught right now? Bright green. Evie loves bean cakes. Oh, I hit the Bidoof, didn't I? Shucks, Bidoof got in the way. I should have taken him out first, that's my own fault. Now you might say, wow, that seems like a lot of overkill for you to catch uh, just that, just that uh, Eevee right there. And you wouldn't be wrong, but when it comes for some other Pokemon, like, what does Rapidash like to eat? The same things, perfect. Literally next to where you start the game is a level 45 Alpha Rapidash that just despawned because it started raining, thanks. Okay, it's now bright sunny weather and the Rapidash is back, great. Soon as you start off this game, there's gonna be a level 45 Rapidash. Soon as you start off, you may need to hear this right now. When you start the game, you are not able to catch Alpha Pokemon. If you get close enough to target over, you're gonna see a little red X icon, even while it's idle. While it's eating, it changes to a color, but while it's idle like this, sorry, level 40, you're not gonna be able to catch it. You can throw a Pokeball, it'll go in the Pokeball, there'll be no text saying that it can't be caught or anything, it's only that red X icon. So if you're not able to catch an alpha Pokemon when you start the game, and you're thinking in your head, you're like, okay, no, I know catch rates, I'm supposed to be able to catch this. It's actually locked to your star trainer level, and I don't know the exact numbers right now, just know that if you see an X, you need to complete more of your Pokedex and get your trainer level up. For me specifically, I know that in order to catch level 60 alphas, I needed to have Pokemon level 85 obey me, and for Pokemon level above 60 who were alphas, I needed to have all Pokemon obey me. I'm a little fuzzy on the details between the levels under that. Right now, we have sort of a yellowy, orangish icon. Let's go ahead and throw out a berry for our boy, and let's watch that icon change. Now it's bright yellow, almost golden. But what I know is gonna make a big difference here, let's throw out its favorite food. These grain cakes. Oh, Rapidash love grain cakes, that's for sure. I love that face, like, what? And now what's its catch rate? Bright green during that. What I wanna do to catch this alpha without even initiating combat, also as you can see, the cakes take significantly longer for the Pokemon to eat. So you have a much wider window to actually catch these Pokemon. What? Is that a grain cake? Let's go, walk right behind it. Let's get one of those nice back shots in. Let's see if we can catch an Alpha Rapidash with a regular Pokeball. Sure can. And I know a lot of people are gonna be happy to learn that. Let's find a notoriously difficult Pokemon to catch. Like this Blissey right here. Blissey is very difficult to catch. Anyone who's played Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you remember how much you, uh, you messed up those chances? Well, it doesn't get much, much worse with this Blissey. So a Raspberry actually has an increased catch rate, right? So if I were to highlight this Blissey, we have this yellow color, he's gonna eat the Raspberry, and it goes to yellow. But what is Blissey's favorite food? Blissey loves honey. All right, no problem. So let's go and find ourselves some honey cakes. I'm gonna throw it directly over there. That way it's gonna walk and its back is gonna be to me. Now I have the Feather Balls, which are, you know, not much more effective than Pokeballs, if any. Bright green. Back shot. And we caught it. We just caught a Blissey with the equivalent of a Pokeball at full health with no status condition. And I didn't see how much experience I got, but I assume that was a lot of experience. Oh yeah, some of my guys got 12,000 experience points. That was actually enough experience for both my Ralts, Piplup, and Gibble to be ready to evolve. Piplup's almost ready for his final form. That's that's how much experience catching one of those Blissies is worth. How about another Pokemon with a notoriously difficult catch rate? Heracross. Luckily, Heracross loves most foods, which is pretty neat. So he's going, he's enjoying that. Let's throw out that green cake. And with a basic tier one, beginning of the game, run in the mill Pokeball, Bright green. We didn't get the back shot on that, which is a little concerning. Still got it. That's the power of green cakes. <laughs> That's the power of green cakes. Uh, they're a little pricey to make, 
But honestly, when you factor in how much money you're going to be saving on Pokeballs by throwing one of those out, like, it's very much so worth it. That little bit of extra time and that little extra step, definitely worth it. It's so funny because, like, you take the core concept of a game so simple as, like, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. And then you just add a few levels of complexity to it. And then it just becomes, I don't know, more, much more fun and engaging that way. Let's put it that way. Now, how about we combine everything that we discussed, not having any cover, and trying to catch a very powerful Pokemon that I actually need for my Pokedex. Because right around this corner is a Pokemon that I need for my Dex. Yep, it's Lucario. Lucario is typically not a very easy Pokemon to catch. Also, I don't know its favorite food. I don't, I, it's not registered in my decks yet. So, let's figure it out together. I'm going to drop down a Stealth Spray to make me harder to be noticed. I'm going to pop down a Smoke Bomb somewhat closer to him. I'm going to throw out a Cherry Berry to get his attention and sort of get a gauge on where he's going to be. Can I figure this out based on the item description? More Monstrous and Dragon? Mm, Fairy-like Charm? Mm, dwell and Wander the Fields? Maybe that. Bird? No. Grass, Plants, and Minerals. And by my guess, I'm gonna go with the grain cake uh, because Lucario is part of the field category of, uh, of egg groups. So let's go ahead and throw out a grain cake. Let's see if he loves that grain cake. <sighs> he sure does love that grain cake. And backshot Alpha Lucario. Please. Love it. My first Lucario. We did the research. We figured out what kind of food he liked. We created our own cover. I could have gone into battle and I could have, you know, taken him down that way. But honestly, I really enjoy playing the game this way. I don't know. I'm a big fan of stealth mechanics in games, of good stealth mechanics in stealth games like Metal Gear Solid. Not when it's just kind of just shoved into a game like uh, when you had to go across the fortress in Wind Waker. But like, Having these items at your disposal, it's pretty cool. Now, are you gonna be doing this all the time? You don't have to, but by doing some of the side missions, you are gonna be getting some of these items and you are gonna be learning about different ways to catch different Pokemon. And I can tell you firsthand that to complete the Pokedex, there's at least one Pokemon that you have to catch in every specific way. Well, there you go. That's how you're going to catch Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Do you find this video helpful? If you did, leave me a thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.